the Netherlands riders Weebs, Vo and Van Vluden. One win for Denmark's Uterplot against Switzerland's Reusser. The long-awaited first edition of the Tour de France Femmes was a showcase of Dutch dominance. On the meek Van Vluden demonstrated all her stage racing excellence and experience in the fight for the yellow jersey. Illness affected the movie star team veteran early in the race, but she recovered to take flight in the Vosges Mountains. The damage was done on stage 7, putting everyone to the sword in a 60-kilometer solo breakaway. The harder the round, the better she is. Another stage victory, this time in the yellow jersey on the race's final day, despite five bike changes, ensuring her mechanic was kept busy. However, the doy in at the race was Marianne Vaux, Jumbo Visma. A stage win here was the only thing missing from her extensive Bomaris, if only due to the simple fact that this is a brand new race. On the opening day, only Lauren the Weeps of Team DSM got in her way. The fastest sprinter in cycling, pipped Vaux in a drag race on the Champs-Élysées. It was a thrilling start. However, Vaux wouldn't be denied for long. Day 2 into Provence suited a competitor with everything at her disposal. Positioning at the front and in the crosswinds, avoiding crashes, timing, wisdom, tactical intelligence, by handling and a fast finish. She was in a late breakaway of big names and her acceleration at the finish and into the Ma Yoj on. On stage 3 into the Champagne Center of the Pyrenees, when she was dropped on the penultimate climb, Mo was the one driving the chase to get back and defend her lead. However, she had to settle for second to Cecilia Utrecht-Ludwig who had an even stronger kick. Her interview was emotional, the highlight of the week for FDJ Suez Futuroscope, which saw Danish champion Ludwig finish 7th overall. Weebs gets her second win. On stage 5, it was Lorena Weebs confirming who the fastest pure sprinter in the world is. But the next day over the rolling hills of eastern France was the ideal scenario for Vaux. In a technical finale she held off her rivals for a second stage victory. Her success in the points classification was a certainty, confirmed by an unfortunate abandonment of her closest challenger weaves to a crash on stage 6. Vaux is exceptional and remains without an equal for her versatility, plus the sheer number and breadth of wins across various cycling disciplines. Into the Vosges, nobody, not even Vaux, could stay with Annemiek van Vluten when she turned up the pressure on the way to Lamarck's team. The lead hollering, SD Works, was last woman in touch on stage 7, finishing over 3 minutes down after dropping off her wheel with 62 kilometers to go. It was a solid demonstration of strength and endurance. On stage 8, as the race concluded on the slopes of the Super Plunge de Bells Villa, Van Vluten stormed away again. Following cemented second place head of Kashinu Wiedelma. The race garnered immense attention. We saw an exciting route and contenders will aim to close the gap to the likes of Annemiek Van Vluten in the years to come. It is a promising foundation for the Tour de France fans to build on. This is just the beginning. There is more to come from the woman of the Tour de France Femmes in 2023. <laughs>